Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The next session is about to start. his batters and then I get up there again
Hello, hello, welcome back. I hope you're feeling replenished and refreshed uh, for a couple of more fascinating sessions. Um, my name is Terry Martin. I'm, a, I'm an anchor with Deutsche Welle Television in Berlin. And it's my great pleasure at this point to introduce our Tatra talk this year. Marian Bocek is co-founder and CEO of Innobat Auto. Innobat Auto, we've already talked about that a little bit here today. Uh, is an, it hatched an idea for green batteries right here at the Tatra Summit two years ago. And ladies and gentlemen, I now give the floor to Marian Bocek. Thank you very much, Terry. Uh, it's great to be here. I was actually told that uh, since I'm the only guy on the stage, I can take off my face mask. So uh, if, you, if you don't mind, I'll try my luck. Um, it's, a, it's a great honor to, to be here uh, today. Uh, one, it's a very symbolic moment, as Terry mentioned, actually, at this lake two years ago, we uh, gave birth to Innobat, the story of building Slovakia's first battery company. I'm very proud that actually uh, two years later, I get to present uh, our very first battery cell prototype. Uh, my presentation is going to be a bit different uh, than what you heard today. It's going to be actually about a bit of a magic, you know. I think uh, the world as it is right now uh, with the pandemic, you know, the negative mindset needs a bit of magic. Um, a famous British scientist, uh, Arthur C. Clarke, once said that sufficiently advanced technologies are indistinguishable from magic. And, uh, when we look at the world today and we look at the history of actually innovation and some of the greatest invention, they all were born out of hardship, out of crisis. When you uh, look at the greatest Slovak inventor of all times, Mr. Banic, uh, more than 100 years ago, he actually invented parachute, not because the idea came into his head, but it's because actually a plane crashed in his hometown and nearly killed his entire family. So we may be seeing the world as, you know, it's crashing down on us. Uh, we're seeing uh, inability to travel, uh, COVID-19, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, we see the nature also acting up on us, trying to tell us something, crazy wildfires, icebergs uh, being melted. Uh, we're losing some of our precious trees in Tatras as well. And um, I believe that, you know, as the nature has defined our future, now it's time to actually define the future of nature. And uh, I believe the innovation is the only way out of this, out of this crisis. Uh, two years ago, it was actually unimaginable to me that I'll be standing here in front of you and tell you a story how during the corona crisis, actually, during the biggest lockdown we experienced when we couldn't travel between Czech, Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, we were actually able to put together five nations. We put together Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia, UK and the US, we put together a consortium comprising a leading technological company, Wildcat in the US, financial group IPM, top industrial groups, uh, Chess, uh, Mall, AN, MSM, Matador, Acros, and really we put together a consortium that has never been done before in, uh, in Central and Eastern Europe. Another unimaginable thing that we've done was actually to put together a world-class team a Slovak company doesn't usually attract the talent that we see at Apple or Tesla. Nevertheless, we're able to put together our own Real Madrid, our own Galacticos, uh, people from Tesla, BMW, Porsche. Uh, these are people who actually joined the Slovakian bandwagon. You know, they all believed in the Slovakian dream of building a first battery company. And I'm very proud that actually today with us, we have our vice chairman, Andy Palmer, uh, who uh, actually spearheaded the, the first introduction of a premium electric vehicle uh, to the world, Nissan Leaf. He was also the ex-CEO of Aston Martin, and, and he has joined Slovakian company. He joined Innobad not because it's in the US or Slovakia, but it's because he believes that this is the greatest idea that can revolutionize the, the world of electrification. And most importantly, what I haven't imagined is that actually, after 12 months of doing R&D, we will be able to bring to the world the, mo the world's first intelligent battery that is using AI, artificial intelligence, high throughput R&D, and actually is already outperforming some of the best class uh, competitors we have. In terms of operational range, we are actually close to 20% better. I hope that our battery will not be just powering our vehicles, uh, but also powering our mind, because the biggest crisis is the crisis of the mind. 
And I really hope that actually, I pray for it, that projects like Innobad will eradicate some of the prejudice that we're seeing, you know, the East and West divide uh, that a lot of the Slovakian companies, Eastern European companies are experiencing. I really hope that our generation and the generation of our kids will not have to be embarrassed to be considered Eastern or Central European and actually will be considered as a European citizen, citizen of one continent. Uh, I really hope that Eastern European companies will not be afraid actually to uh, apply for EU grants in Brussels, in Luxembourg again, and being afraid of being told that they're not innovative enough, they're not state of the art enough. And, uh, and I really hope that actually thanks to projects like this, we will cause a bit of a technological as well as social revolution where Slovakia will be seen not only as a manufacturing hub, but actually as a technological innovation hub. It takes one idea to change the course of history of one nation. It took Estonia, one company, Skype, that took the country from being an agrarian nation to a high-impact, state-of-the-art IT country. It took Finland, Nokia, to take the country to where it is now. And I believe that Innobad is actually the series of many companies that are hopefully coming to the market that are backed by a lot of you people in the room that can really make Slovakia relevant. And now I would like to actually join you and invite you on uh, our magical mystery ride of Innobad Auto to take you how we went from past and how we're going to the future. Please. Nature. Millions of species call her home. From the tiniest creatures to majestic giants, evolving billions of years. There's nothing like her. Not anywhere close. Once nature created our future, now we create the future of nature. A future where charging replaces burning. Our homes are powered by the sun and our cities lit by the wind. A future where people act responsibly and think sustainably. Where traditional means carbon free, leaving oil and gas in the ground. The energy revolution. Defined by artificial intelligence developing intelligent and high performance battery cells. Giving you extended range, more charge cycles and reduced costs. Fully customizable in capacity and shape for every vehicle brand and type. Produced by Innovat Auto. Located at the very heart of the automobile industry, Slovakia, within easy reach of all major car makers in Europe. Providing close support throughout development and express deliveries. For a better future, for the next generation. This is our last chance to get it right. Innobat. Intelligent batteries for a greener world. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor, actually, for the first time ever to unveil the world's first intelligent battery. What was a dream two years ago is now becoming reality. And I'm very proud to actually give you Innobad Auto, very first generation one, and a piece of Slovakian magic. <laughs> voilà. Thank you. So, marvelous. So, thank you very much. Uh, I, I just want to take a quick look at this myself. Uh, amazing. So, these things are really quite flat. I would love to do a conversation with you right now, but I'm afraid we're going to have to leave that for another day. They, they look really interesting in so far that they can be adapted to fit just about any shape. Interestingly, I was dealing with Renault uh, and Nissan in their their alliance, which was also involved very much in, as you know so well, in producing the best-selling electric car in the world, the Nissan Leaf, and they didn't look anything like that. This, is, uh, this is, looks like something very new indeed. So, innovation, ladies and gentlemen, born at the Tatra Summit two years ago. 
So, as I mentioned, uh, I'm Terry Martin, and it's my great pleasure to have the honor of introducing three very important people when it comes to dealing with the things that we're facing right now. I'm just going to invite our three panelists to come on up onto the stage. You know, I believe, where you're supposed to be sitting. This is a mirror arrangement. So just uh, if you don't mind coming up to the stage, and I'll just introduce you while you're up here so the audience can actually see you while you're sitting down rather than having your backs to them. So this is, uh, this is a great way to start. 